So hopefully by now you have collected lots of different leaves and petals and um, plants and all sorts of things. And um, some of you might have had a go at sort of making some marks. So the best thing to do is, um, I think what I'm, what I'm gonna try is, um, I've got some roses here, which rose petals don't make the best color for some reason. They don't have a lot of pigment in them. So they don't have the, the best pigment, the best colour. So um so I thought I'd use this as inspiration as something to draw. But I'm not gonna worry and that one. Oh yes, and that one. But I'm not gonna worry about um the colours. I'm gonna make it quite an abstract um rose. So I'm gonna put the colour from the petals, the pigment from the petals down first before I then draw onto the top to sort of create an image. So I'll probably use a green with a bit of a line for the stalk and some leaves, um, but I'll use different colours. Um, I'm not gonna try and get this pink. I'm just gonna try all sorts of things. Who knows, this flapping water everywhere. Thank you. Okay, so this is what I'm going to sort of have a go at um, making. So I'm gonna try and sort of make these marks as well as well as the sort of straight marks and the leaf marks. So I'm just going to pop this in front of me so I can see. Um, and are oh, you going to put yours in front of you as well? Okay. So um, I'm going to try using the... I'm going to try. This was the tulips. The tulip tulip. leaves. And basically you kind of scrunch it, scrunch it a little bit. Um, don't scrunch it too much. If it's a bit wet, I put some water on mine while I was I waiting for you all to gather your bits and pieces so just dry it off now I don't want it too wet and I'm just going to start to oh, you do it on your paper Lynn Rose while you do it on hers and um, I'm just going to try and start to make some of these marks that I wanted to so I'll just see if I can switch the camera around excuse me oh there we go so there's my hand goes I'm just kind of making some of those petal shapes and the leaves do kind of fall, the petals sorry, do kind of fall apart a little bit as you're making the marks. So it might be why you may need to go and collect some more petals. I'm going to carry on doing this and just building up the colour. Well, that's only just one leaf and I've got several different, um, where are we up to? Sorry, several different tones in there already, got some really dark bits and some lighter bits and some roses and then the yellow bit which I think is probably from the stamen that was inside the petal. Oh, Lena Rose is giving me a hand as well. Thank you Lena Rose. There we go. So I'm just going it's to carry on wet. adding... It's all wet now. Oh, it's, oh thank you, it's made it all wet. Oh, you've done, yeah, yours is lovely. So... Um, I can't make it do this. You can't? Oh. No. No, these are darker. These are darker ones. So Lynn Rose was using a rose petal and it doesn't work. It just doesn't really come out. Um, and then there's these. These are really beautiful. I wish I knew the names of the plants. I'm not very good at that. I need to ask Ask my mum. Um, or actually ask my nanny. That would be better. She knows. This one gets a really dark purple. And like I said, although I'm not trying to make the exact rose shape or even use the exact colours, you're still trying to use those those forms and shapes that you can see in the petal. Um, so once I've done this purple section, I'll just show you again. I just need to figure out a way of showing you while I'm doing it. So I'm not wobbling the camera around so much. Grandpa, you may want to um, this out, please. Yeah, yeah, you can use that one. Oh, sorry, my little baby's crying in the background. She has had a nap, but she's with daddy, so uh, it's working as it's work. as good as being with mommy. It's, it's working. <laughs> so, it's working. It's oh, is it working? working? Let's have a look. We'll show yours as well, then, Rose. So, we'll just here we go. So, I've managed to get down sort of the base of the rose and then I'll do some sort of green mm. stalk type thing mm. here. Shall we have a look at yours in the rose? Oh lovely. 
So I'm using. And I make it. I'm using a water paper, a watercolor paper, or um, actually it's, an, it's a bit of old sketchbooks that I had from my um, when I was doing my. I think it's probably when I was doing my undergrad degree. Um, just ripped it out of a sketchbook. Um, the thicker the paper, the better. If you're using A4 uh, printer paper, it's it's just going to kind of tear, and the paper's going to start like mulching and not doing very nice things. So the thicker paper or card um, or even like sugar paper, if you can find some pale sugar paper, that will work really well. Um, so how are we doing? Oh, we've made some lovely marks in those. Looks really nice. I'm going to use some of these tiny little ones to see what colour I can get out of this. Um, I want a tiny one. You're going to use a tiny one as well, are you? So this this little blue one, this little blue one makes really nice blue. <laughs> Um, although sometimes you do get, like I said, with the grass, you'd expect to get a green, but you kind of get like a, a yellow, so. And then I'm just going to go back in with some of the, this flat, this one. Sorry, again, names, rubbish. Um, try and get some darker tones in the centre. I'm getting all sticky, Lynn Rose. Yeah, Oh, you're just carrying on. That's a good idea. I'm just carrying on. Mama, yeah. Do that one now. Okay, you're going to do a different one. Alright. So, for children, like younger children, it could be that you find something like this, or even you trace it on or draw it, so that then they can um, they can colour a picture rather than making just the design. Um, this one's not working now. Just trying this, the red. Um, tulip leaf but I think this might have got a bit wet so oh here we go it's working now so I've got some yellow going around the edge and the pink I think it's about how you hold it and how which part of the leaf uh, which part of the petal is sort of getting onto the paper also you don't want the petals to be too wet we're going to start so um so I'm gonna start doing some abstract sort of marks around because um, I don't really want it to all be just a big purple blob in the centre. So maybe the idea that there might be some other sort of... Actually, this one's got... <coughs> I'll just twist it around, that might be easier. This one has got a bit of water on, um, so it's kind of making more of a watercolour type pattern. So maybe it sort of suggests that there's other roses in the background. Like this. Oh, Daddy's coming in to feed the baby. Nari's quite fond of eating paper, so try and keep her away. Oh, Lena Rose is sharpening her pencils. I thought they were using the flowers. I did, I did sharpen up the wire. Oh, yeah, okay. Just sharpen up some bits. Something, something in night time. Oh, something at night time. Oh, for the shadow, that's a good idea. Eat it all up. <laughs> Not quite sure what that was about. So, I'm uh, just adding some extra marks in, and this flower has got a bit of yellow inside. Part of the petal, so that will make again another tone. I'll just turn it around so you can see. Look, I'm kind of just building up layers of colour and patches oh. and then I'm going to start what thank you Ren you can't eat that you've got your milk and then I can't remember whether it was the mint or the coriander that worked really well but I'll try with the mint the mint yeah mint. oh that was ready there we go Ooh. so I'm just going to screw up the mint again and start. Yeah, so this the this mint works really well. I'm going to try and bring the mint, the green, up into the flower, so we see the petals don't just 
don't just sit on top of a stalk. You do have. I'm sure there's a special name for it. I don't know what the special name is for. Should have written more in them. By Olivia, I think. Yes, plants and things. I'm just gonna have a look. I'm gonna start taking a bit more notice about the sort of flower that, that I'm attempting to um, make, and then maybe even add some green in with the others. You know, she's doing a lot of sharpening. Yeah. Yeah. yeah What's your sharpening for? Because my work. Oh, it's for your work. <coughs> Are you an artist? I'm, I'm a vegetarian. You're a vegetarian. See. Mama, I'm, I'm a vegetarian artist. Oh, you're a vegetarian artist. I am also a vegetarian artist. So, um, yeah. This, you might not like any of these videos, but that bit there is probably the best thing you'll watch ever. So, um, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'm sorry if the rest is very boring for you, but that was very cute. <laughs> so... I'm just bringing more of the green and I'll flip it around again and show you that I'm just making, I suppose it is more realistic than I wanted. I thought I'd go quite abstract. I have done this before and I've made just really abstract colours. But I think once I've done this I'll probably go in and make it and mess it up a bit more. Because I don't like things to be um, quite so realistic. I make quite a lot, um, so I don't really draw and paint that much. And then, apart from, I do a lot of um, blind contour drawing, which is what I'll be doing some with you guys. And I will blind contour draw onto this as well. Um, but, um, so it's basically yeah, drawing on the paper then. without looking at what you're, without looking at the paper, so you're focusing entirely on the object. So, and I've done um, life drawing, or at the moment I'm really into drawing, um, basically watching YouTube and drawing ballet dancers. So anything from like Sugar Plum Fairy to like Spanish style um, ballets that have got loads of movement and sort of flamenco styles. Um, so um, I've been really enjoying that. And but with that I've been using proper um, artist inks. Um, and I didn't want to scare you all and with them buying materials of which we cannot buy because we are all, well most of us, are stuck in. I would like to be at school working. Um, also it's nice to be at home and in some, spend some time with this one. Is it nice having mummy home? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. That's good. It is nice. It's nice having you at home anyway. It's not a nursery. So now I'm just going in with some yellow to fill it, put in a bit of background colour. Um, I'll show I it to you properly. You I don't need to sharpen I everything, sweetheart. I, I tried to open things like that. What do you do? Because I sharpened doing my job. You did? Yeah. You're doing your job, are you? Mm -hmm. you're, doing a, you're doing a cracking job, sweet. You really did. So, I, try, just... I tried to do the other one, but... I can't do that. in. And... I think I'm pretty much happy. Probably because I'm actually running out of flowers now. Or petals anyway. I've got a lot of green, but... No, you're not running out of the flowers. Well, not outside, no, but from the ones that I've collected. Slowly running out. Those. Oh, those ones. They're roses, aren't they? Those. Thank you, Paula. Paula bought me, bought me those roses. Thank you, Paula. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. And um, let's see, I might just add a bit more green, so I'll just show you where I'm up to now. So, there will be some bits of. So, at the moment, I've <clears throat> got quite a few different colours going on there. The yellow is really nice. And I'm quite pleased with the different Mama. tones of the purple. Yes, sweetheart. I'm going to cuddle, Mama. A cuddle. We'll have a cuddle in a minute. Let's just finish this. And then um, we're going to start doing some drawing on top. So I'll do the drawing in the next video because um, I'm doing these as, as uh, spoken English, but also as uh, BSL 
and signed videos. So I need to try and keep them at the same stage. If I start drawing on top of this and I haven't explained in sign language um, what I've done, and then there'll be a couple of steps ahead. Yeah, we'll have cuddles. We'll have cuddles in between. So I think I'm going to stop in a second. I think the problem is knowing when to stop, but with this kind of work, you can just keep going. And when you really need to stop is when you've gone through the paper. So just get, what's that? That's nothing. Yeah. It's just no, my, a white. That's, that's um, my um, peg food. I'm a full-time wheelchair user and I'm peg fed in my stomach. So Lou Rose is just looking at my feed. She's pumping through, feeding me apparently. Let me look nice and <laughs> look very skinny on this. Mom, so, we know you do, sweetheart. Right, so this is where I'm going to stop. Just and the, I'm sat in the wind, bay window, so it's pretty hard to see. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'll spin, spin this round. So I can look at my face as well. But, um, so we've got some really nice colours going on there. <laughs> I think Rose is getting a bit fed up now. She's doing very well. She's only three. Um, and then, once I've done this, the next section will be me just going in with a pen. Um, I'm probably going to use a Sharpie. Switch it back. Hello. Um, I'll probably use a Sharpie. It's one of my favourite pens to work with. Um, Mine. Yeah, you like Sharpies, don't you? Yeah, because they go everywhere and they don't come off walls. Um, and just start doing in some really sort of abstract marks on top of this. So I'm going to stop this now and start doing my sign language version and uh, also probably have a three-year-old jump on me. Um, I hope you've done okay and it'd be really nice to see some pictures of what you've done. So let's just <laughs> come on then, I hope you come. I'm going to say goodbye. Say, I hope you've done some amazing work. Amazing work. Amazing. No, you don't do that on the camera. <laughs> right. Thank you.